All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Getting Started with Pipedrive video series here on uh, Mark's group. So today we are going to be talking about the contact timeline, um, the context timeline. So to get to the context timeline, um, and it's really best explained by looking at it. So we're gonna go to our contacts area of pipe drive here. And then we're gonna click on contacts timeline. This is such a cool feature. Um, I haven't seen anything like it in uh, in some of the other serums that I've worked with. So this is super cool. Basically, it takes all of the activities for any given contact and it lays them out on a on a kind of horizontal um, calendar view and you can specify how many months back you want to go. And if we just go one, one month back, you'll be able to see it maps out all of your activities on this timeline here. So you can get a really good idea for who needs um, attention, who has been contacted recently, who hasn't been contacted at all um, in the, you know the last X months. Super, super cool. So we can specify how many months back we want to go. And then we can see whose contacts we want to see. And this is available for you know parent groups, um, owners of records or administrators. And then we can specify filters as well. Out of the box, we have people contacted with, within the last month, people not contacted within the last month, people with open deals, um, and then people with open deals who should be checked in with. And if we go ahead and click edit on that, you can see the specific um, criteria that is used to set up that filter. So if you wanted to update this from, um, you know, it, right now the last activity date is later than two weeks ago. So you could say one week ago, you could say three weeks ago, whatever um, suits your organization be best. And if we click this button here, um, you can set the follow-up frequency. So you can determine or you can um, specify how frequently people should be checked in with right here. So we can go weekly, monthly, quarterly, um, biannually or annually. And if you need to contact people, this is what it looks like. The little um, triangle and exclamation point will pop up in red. Um, the actual contacts will pop up in red here. Or we can just turn it off and that all just depends on your um, organization. But it's one way that Pipedrive helps you kind of automatically prioritize and uh, make it clear who you should be contacting first, um, how you should prioritize your deals and in, in your activities. So this is a, a very cool feature. So just to um, kind of add to our contacts timeline, we can specify an activity. Um, we'll just say follow up with Ada. And it's going to be our activity, but it's going to relate to Ada and the contact will pop up here. And then you can specify a date. I'm gonna actually go back in time so you can see what it looks like if you have an activity a long time ago. Um, and if we go ahead and click save there, and we go back to our contact timeline, you can see that we've got our um, activity here. And this is actually, we forgot to mark it due, so <laughs> it says it's overdue. So if we mark this as done, 
and we'll just click save. And then it brings up to schedule another, uh, oh, this is uh, bringing up a new activity to be scheduled. Um, but once we marked this as complete, it turned it from red to kind of a neutral gray. <laughs> Um, this little blue symbol indicates an open deal, and this green symbol indicates a one deal. So you can see that on the on the contact timeline as well. This is a very very cool feature. Um, we can also add activities or not add activities, but we can filter out activities by clicking them here. So let's say we don't care about lunches. Um, we just want to see calls, emails, and tasks. Um, we can see that on here as well. So this is just a really neat way to um, kind of organize your activities, figure out who in your contact list um, or in your, you know, your people list you need to be contacting first or contacting more frequently. And it's really neat that it has the deals either open or one. Um, I think it even has lost. Let's see. If we go to our deals and we... This is open deals. So if we went to all open and one deals, and let's say we lost this, um, lost to competitor. If we go back to our contacts and our contact timeline and give this a refresh. Yep, we would go ahead and see that there was a deal here that was lost, and we can see that in red. And if you click on it, you can actually see and go to the deal in question. We can also click on these icons and actually open up the, um, the activity itself. And you can mark them as complete right here. And once you do, it'll automatically pop up this window to schedule the next activity. But not only is this a good way to see who you need to be contacting next, it's also a good way to see um, what activities are overdue, what activities have been completed, um, just everything all in one <clears throat> really nice interface. So once again, if we go back in here, we'll go to our lost deals. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and mark this as one. We'll get this nice little graphic there. <clears throat> and then we'll go back to open and one deals. Let's say let's say we specified the one time. <clears throat> Not sure if we can put stuff in the future, but I'm stuck in 2020. <clears throat> okay. So we specified the one time as February 2nd. So if we go back to our contact timeline and we give it a refresh, we can go ahead and see that this stretched out a little bit past the today mark and it once again is green. 
and we have this little pop-up here click this bar to see more information about past and ongoing deals very cool stuff all right so just to summarize what we talked about today we talked about the contacts timeline a very cool feature that pipedrive has that allows you to see your or really um, whoever you specifies um, people or in contacts all in one timeline format you can see the activities you can filter out activities um, that you want to see on this timeline we can see any deals are that are on here as well and it really helps you kind of organize your data and determine who needs um, to be contacted next so it's really great for helping prioritize your work we can also set this follow-up frequency um, <clears throat> bar here and of the 15 people on the list 14 need to be contacted and it has them in red so this is another great way to kind of remind your users or yourself to um, contact their contacts <laughs> All right, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me, megan at marksgroup.net, um, and definitely check out the other videos in this Getting Started with Pipedrive series. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you guys next time.